Hi. Today we're going to go over a demonstration of applying watercolor. In this case, I'm using Windsor Newton Cotman. They are pans, and this is the first time I'm using this in here. Before, when I was watercoloring, like maybe 30, 40 years ago, I was using the um, tubes, but um, I wanted to um, use the pans because they are less expensive, um, but it's also easier on space. So what I do first and is applying a little bit of water with a pipette like this on the colors that I'm going to be using. And I want to do this. Blues. And maybe that one. And red for variety. And let's go for a bit more. And I'm also going to be using uh, my etcher pad. Ex excuse the condition of it. So I'm using um, a paintbrush today. Um, normally, I've been using the um, water brush. But today I'm going to use a paintbrush from Mimic. Um, they're a, a really great brush that is um, synthetic and you can use it as um, a water brush, whether paint brush using. Um, watercolor or acrylic. So what I'm doing now is just applying a little bit of water to the surface here. And then once it's dry, what I'll do is go over for inking. Different blue. And I have a little bit of water over there. Um, reloading my brush with more water. And let's go with a little bit of red. Which makes kind of purple. I like the um, the etcher sketch, sketch pad because it's 100% um, um, watercolor paper. And let's see. I will say it's a little bit different from using the uh, tube paint, but it's a, it's a matter of acquiring different skill sets. That's kind of a, an orange but it's good because it gives the wash I'm doing now a bit more um, variety. And you can do the usual 
texturing that you do like um, pieces of salt. You can. I have a little bit more of a water here, so you can. It's subtle that the um, this flicking, the flicking, you can see it's spreading out a little bit. And then we can use a uh, brush again. And then And you can also use a bit more pigment from your palette over here. I'm grabbing a little bit of red. And then a bit more water. Basically, I'm just playing around doing more color and texture and afterward what I'll do is I'll let it dry air dry which takes some um, time um, but when it's dry I'll go back um, and start my uh, doodling process and I'll be back when it's dry I'm back and the watercolor is dry and now we can go in to designing shapes and why don't we go with a circle kind of Also, with the rounding, you are creating more visual um, difference in your doodle, which is a good thing. So there, you can extend it to meet up the line, and then you can fix up as well and every so often sit back look at it and see if you missed any areas <laughs> 